This is Freedom City, one of Kampala's entertainment centers. It is always a beehive of activity during festivities, only that this has happened during COVID-19 induced lockdown. <laughs> Unlike in other places where COVID-19 standard operating procedures, like those barring congregations have been adhered to, at Freedom City, it has been a family day out. <laughs> and what is more, that all this was happening under the watchful eye of Uganda police. Along Kampala and Tebe Road, the sandy heavy traffic flow was enough to tell the scenario ahead. Yes. At Lido Beach and Tebe, revelers from all walks of life in all manners of fashion, both young and old, seemed to be prepared for the Boxing Day celebrations. <laughs> Although our cameras were barred from accessing the premises, no one could suspect our intention as we joined the party. <laughs> Here in Uganda, people try to celebrate this day of Boxing Day or 26th of December in different kinds of manners. Here we are in Entebbe, we are trying to do an assessment of how people, all Kampala residents are trying to go away by this day. You can see the other beach is called Aero Beach, the parking is full, filled to capacity. Come here at Lido Beach, the parking is also filled to capacity. The next beach nearby is White Sand Beach and it is the same scenario. This automatically shows that many revelers have come from different walks of life to come and at least be part of this day. Inside the beach, as I have told you, it is, they are filled to full capacity, leaving a lot of questions as to whether the country has been fully reopened up. Our efforts to get a comment from the Uganda police was flatly rejected, but lo, it is party after party in Uganda's happening places. The number you have dialed cannot be reached at the moment. Please try again later. Robert Nyango, UBC News.